Hi everybody, it's Heather from My Blue Desk. I want to do a little bit more work with acrylics this year and I want to use up some of the supplies that I've already got and sort of reignite my passion for using um, the different art materials that I've got in my craft space um, because I've been neglecting some of those. Now, I've got out a lot of my old acrylics. I don't know how good they're going to be now because they are literally donkey's years old, but I've got quite a few of these Paper Artsy Fresco Finished Chalk Acrylics because I really like these. And I also use a lot of um, Emulsion Tester Parts as well, um, or have done in the past. I haven't used them for probably a year now. Um, so I've got out most of my acrylics and I've got another box of acrylics because I've got some sort of smaller ones that I've used for model painting in the past. Um, but I did succumb to a bit of an Amazon purchase, which I spoke about in another video, which I don't know whether you've seen, but anyway, yes, I did succumb. So I thought I'd show you what I've purchased and I'm actually going to swatch them. So I'm going to swatch all of my acrylics so I know the colors I've got, so I don't go duplicating because unfortunately, I am the sort of person who will forget what they've got unless it's right under their nose. So I want to, this year, I want to make sure that I use what I've got and I want to minimise waste um, and do more recycling, upcycling. So it's really important to me to know the materials I've already got. Now I know that I haven't got these particular ones here because they're very new to me. You may have heard me say that I love glitter, but I can't stand, uh, well, I love the effect of glitter, but I can't stand glitter itself. I can't stand it where it goes everywhere. It's like, a, oh my goodness, goes everywhere. You like find it all over the place. I just can't be doing with that. But I do like the effect of glitter. So I bought some glitter paints and these are acrylics, I believe, and they're by Plaid, is it Plaid Crafts? Um, and they're called Folk Art Extreme glitter and they are an acrylic paint and they looked absolutely amazing on the website so I thought you know what I'm going to treat myself because they've come down in price quite a bit I knew I already had some acrylics so even though I actually wanted to buy um, another set of these in different colours I actually stopped myself and I only got the glitter ones and then I went and fetched my existing supply of paper artsy and other acrylics. So I'm going to get them all together and so swatch them and see what I've got. So waffle over, let's have a look at these. So we've got various different sorts. I'm just going to get them out of the box. I've got lots of different colours and I do like a bit of shimmer on a project and especially as I'm currently doing a mermaid art doll at the moment, I thought they might be quite useful for that. So here we go. So what I got Let's have a look at them all. Now you can't really tell the colours very much, I think, in the bottles. So that's why I'm going to swatch them. But on the on the actual sort of the, the listing page as it were. I could see that they were my sort of colours. So for example, the green and the blue and the pink and the purple, they're very much my sort of thing. Now actually, I say that, you can't see through the bottle, but clearly there is a label on there. So I don't know how true to uh, the label they will be. Um, so yeah, we've got a holographic one there. I get very excited and I go a bit quiet when I'm excited actually, because... Um, I'm sort of studying them. Extreme glitter, you see. That's what they are. And the holographic, that's absolutely beautiful. I don't know whether you can see that. So I think rather than just waffle or sit here quietly sort of staring at my beautiful new stash, what I'm going to do is get um, a sheet together so that I can just swatch these out. So I've done myself a little swatch chart on the mount board, which is what framers use around um, framed prints and I've just done myself some little stars and I've done five on each row and I'm going to do the pinks, purple, blue, green on the top. Actually no I'm not, I'm going to do that on the bottom and I'm going to do the glitters, um, so the champagne and silver and the black on the top row. So we'll do that now. I don't know whether you have to shape these first but um, it's water-based, non-toxic, use on all 
porous surfaces for brightest shimmer base coat with similar folk art color shake well let dry one hour between coats clean while wet with soap and water and it's sparkling fine glitter acrylic paint for decorative crafts and home decor so there you go so that's the description and this is what the bottles look like and they have 59 mil or two fluid ounces in them so let's get painting I'll have a cup of tea first though, I think Now I was going to put them in my little uh, pot but actually I'm just going to squeeze a tiny bit on and then just spread it out because I think that will just be just as easy and I don't appear to be able to paint within the lines so, so that's fun isn't it. Yeah, so I'm hoping they're going to be really good because they definitely weren't cheap paints, that's for certain. Right, so I need to leave that to dry and what I'm going to do then is swatch out my other acrylics because uh, I could do with knowing in front of me when I'm doing a project what colours I've got to hand and that will just keep it fresh in my mind. There you go, so that's the glitter and I'll show you those when they are dry. Hi, I'm back from the osteopath and my glitter paints have dried. So I thought I would show you, this is just with one coat. Now they are lovely and sparkly, but the coverage is very inconsistent. And I'll be honest with you, I'm a bit disappointed with the look of them at the moment. So I'm going to give them another coat on the top and hope that that rectifies it. But I think putting too much on makes it look very bumpy and I didn't like that at all. I think this one's by far the best one. So that's the uh, the white. Um, and that's really pretty. But the rest of them, I just think they just look really blobby and not very nice. Now, they've actually got not a bad texture at all. It's... I can imagine that would last really well so I think no matter what you put it on it's probably going to be a very durable surface and I suspect it's just because of my terrible painting technique and I need to do more than one coat because it is actually really robust so it's a lot better than just using I don't know what else you would potentially use pouring glitter onto glue um, so it is actually very robust feeling it now, but it's just I don't like the actual look of it at the moment. So I'm going to give it another coat and then hopefully that will improve. Hello, this is the last time I'm coming back in this video, although I am going to go and get some more paints and do some more swatching in a moment. Uh, but for you guys, I'm just going to show you the final result. This is two coats of the lovely sparkly glitter paint. I'm still not happy with the coverage, I'll be honest with you. I think it's quite blotchy. It's better than it was, but it's still not perfect. On the positive note, it's a really, really tough coating. And I think it will be great, maybe when I get the hang of it and if I do several thin layers. Um, I can see me reaching for this hologram one, holographic. Which one is it? Oh, I've put it away now. But the white one is supposed to be holographic and it's, um, it's very shimmery and that gives the best coating. But of course, because it's um, sort of wide, maybe it's just, you're just not noticing the bumps. But that by far is the best one and I think I would be reaching for that one quite a lot. And I think if I was going to buy any of them, I would have gone for that one. Uh, the rest of them, I think I would, I could leave all of them really. I will use them because I've got a specific project in mind. That's uh, something I do intend to use, but um, I think with hindsight, if I'd seen these, if I'd seen how they worked before, I think I might have maybe not bought the whole lot. I might have just bought one or two rather than the whole bunch. But, you know, 
you know what it's like sometimes you see all of the colours together and think oh they look nice I think I'll have all of those anyway so not impressed with the coverage however very hard wearing and that one's gorgeous and maybe with a bit of practice I'll be better and this is the other um, swatch sheet that I've done um, just a couple of them need to be thrown out the rest of them were still fine I've got a couple of translucent col colours I did notice the mocha mousse which is supposed to be um, opaque is quite a translucent finish and even with a lot of stirring so maybe that's just the way it's settled out now but I'm really pleased with the array of colours that I have got in my stash I've still got some more upstairs and I'm thinking there's lots of possibility here for mixing as well so I'm actually really pleased that I did get my acrylics out and I know that this is going to make me use them I know I've got a couple of projects that are on the go at the moment that will be using them anyway I did remember why I bought the little ones now um, and it was because I used to customise Blythe dolls and I remember I bought them because I wanted a really good range for some eyes, some glass eyes. So there you go, it just suddenly occurred to me when I was trying desperately to open the black, I thought I've been here before trying to open this one. That hopefully will save me quite a lot of money because I was looking at buying some more acrylics the other day. So uh, hopefully doing this will actually stop me from buying any new colours because I think I'll be able to find all the ones that I need. So on that note, I'm going to go. Hopefully I've encouraged you to have a look at the supplies you've already got on hand and um, you enjoy doing some crafty goodness and I shall see you in the next video. Remember a thumbs up if you don't mind and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.